to talk about tonight. The election enters its bribery phase. Elon Musk could use a friend, and I get school at the Electoral College. So let's get into the headlines, shall we? All right, we are exactly two weeks from Election Day and two weeks and one day from Donald Trump complaining about voter fraud. But tonight, <laughs> there's breaking news about one Trump henchman who probably won't be joining in this time. Breaking news in that civil case against former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani. A federal judge ordered Giuliani to turn over all of his valuable possessions, including his Manhattan apartment, to former Fulton County elections worker Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. Giuliani owes them $150 million after they won a defamation suit against him. He claimed they were involved in election fraud after the 2020 election. The judge wants Giuliani to hand over more than just his Madison Avenue apartment. He's ordered to surrender watches, signed Yankees paraphernalia, furniture, and even his TV. The only valuable he's allowed to keep is his grandfather's watch. Oh, poor Rudy. Poor, poor Rudy. And I'm not expressing empathy, by the way. I'm saying Rudy is literally poor now. <laughs> He's broke, okay? He's got to give them his apartment, his car, his furniture, even his TV. Do you know how badly you have to lose a court case that 9-11 is the second worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> it really makes you realize how random justice is in this country. This man lost his entire fortune for trying to steal the election, while well, the man who he was trying to steal the election for has faced no repercussions at all. It's like when I get yelled at for going to the strip club, even though there were 45 other men also at the strip club. And why doesn't my wife yell at them? Well, let's move on to the current election, okay? In the home stretch of the 2024 campaign, Donald Trump has gained a critical new supporter, Elon Musk, a man a man of gravitas, a man of dignity, a man with roughly a four-inch vertical leap, and president of the Funny Tummy Club. But he's also the richest man in the world. I mean, he's, he's so rich, he bought Twitter just to drive it into the ground for his own personal pleasure, and now he's thinking, well, what if I did the same with America? Tech mogul Elon Musk making a surprise pledge while stumping for Trump, launching a million-dollar giveaway for voters who signed his petition in favor of free speech and the right to bear arms. Wow. Elon's giving a million dollars to his fans. Now they can afford the best anime girlfriend pillow money can buy. <laughs> so how exactly does this bribe, sorry, uh, gift work? So every day between now and the election, we'll be awarding a million dollars, starting tonight. Tonight's person is John Dreyer. <laughs> wow, how exciting for John Dreyer. But maybe less exciting once you realize that they filled in the money section with John Dreyer. <laughs> Although, yeah. Although, I'm not sure it matters since Elon put his signature dead center in the check, <laughs> which, as everyone knows, is exactly not where you're supposed to put it. But, hey, he's a disruptor. Also, just a missed opportunity, put something funny in the memo section, right? May I suggest butt medicine? I mean, <laughs> my landlord loves when I do that. But forget all that. What exactly do you have to do for that million dollars? The only thing we ask uh, for the million dollars is that you be a uh, spokesperson for, for the petition, and uh, that's it, really. That's the whole, that's it. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye! <laughs> that's how uncharismatic Elon Musk is. He can hand someone a million dollars, and they're just like, so I can just go now? Because I've seen people more excited to win a dishwasher on The Price is Right. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking right now. How could Republicans sink so low? And also, can I sink low enough to register for this? <laughs> well, yes, but you better hurry up because it's not quite clear if this whole thing is cool with Johnny Law. Pennsylvania's governor, Josh Shapiro, questioned the legality of this giveaway and said it's something law enforcement should be taking a look at. When you start flowing this kind of money into politics, I think it raises serious questions that uh, folks may want to take a look at. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this whole thing may violate election law, but good luck to the Democrats trying to stop it. You know, that'll win over voters. We're taking a million dollars from you. Vote Harris Walls. <laughs>
But of course, billionaires in politics isn't anything new. Democrats have George Soros and Mark Cuban. Republicans have Steve Wynn, Dan Snyder, and I think the Monopoly man. I mean, I... <laughs> but Elon is also getting personally involved in a way that we've never seen before. Not only has he donated $75 million to Trump's reelection effort, not only has he spoken at Trump's rallies, but his super PAC, America PAC, is essentially running Trump's entire get out the vote campaign. And fun fact, he wanted to call his pact at America on Twitter, but someone else already had that handle. So he just took it from them. He, he literally stole America. <laughs> but don't worry, in exchange, he gave them the handle at America123 underscore 12. <laughs> really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? You couldn't have given him a cooler handle than that? You give him at Henry Kissinger. He's not using that anymore. <laughs> But look, any of us can funnel millions of dollars into an election. Musk's real influence is turning Twitter into Donald Trump's personal propaganda machine. Musk also uses X, formerly Twitter, which he owns, to promote Trump to his 200 million plus followers. According to a CBS News investigation, Musk has used X to amass 3.3 billion views on posts about election security so far this year. 55% of the posts contained or amplified false or misleading information, including unsubstantiated conspiracies. Holy shit, 3.3 billion views for conspiracies and misinformation? And yes, a billion or two of those views come from sex bots that only tweet things like, click here to see crypto in my but that's still a huge amount of propaganda. 55% of the posts had misinformation, so he's wrong half the time. Well, thank God he only controls Twitter and not some sort of rocket company, you know? And <laughs> if, you're, if you're on Twitter like me, you know that he doesn't just tweet the stuff out to his followers. He puts it in your feed whether you follow him or not. It's gotten so bad that the other day, I almost closed Twitter and talked to my family. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Honestly, I should just get off Twitter entirely, except I've been talking to this smoking hot Russian chick who's is <laughs> made of crypto. Um, <laughs> so Elon has formed a very close alliance with Donald Trump. So close, in fact, that Trump says if he wins, he'll give Elon a job in his administration cutting government waste. And Elon already has some really dumb ideas for how to do that. So well, we've talked about... Um kind of a, a government efficiency commission or the Department of Government Efficiency, where we just take a look at, at, at all the federal agencies and say, do we really need whatever it is, 428 federal agencies? Because there's so many that people have never even heard of. Yeah, I mean, that tracks, you know? If you've never heard of something, that means we don't need it, right? <laughs> Seriously, the parietal lobe? I've never heard of it, all right? <laughs> don't need it. For more on Elon Musk's cash giveaway, we go live to Tesla headquarters with Ronnie Chang. Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie, get me into Elon's mindset. What's Elon's goal here? Uh, don't overthink this, Michael. All Elon's trying to do is make a friend. That, that's it. Back to you. <laughs> but, right, 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 Ronnie, 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 Ronnie. Yeah, hold on. He, he's not giving people millions of dollars just to make a friend. Uh, yes, he is. That's why he makes the winner come up on stage to get the check. Because that's the only way he can get anyone close enough to, to try to be friends with them. And then he's like, uh, here's a million dollars. Uh, 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 and then people run away as fast as they can. Because he's a loser with no friends. Okay, all right. Come on. Come on, Ronnie. How could... How could he have no friends? He's a man with billions of dollars. No, no, no. He's a loser with billions of dollars. I mean, <laughs> making a billion dollars is not the same skill set as making friends, okay? I mean, just look at how he jumps up and down when people clap for him. <laughs> Yo, does this look like a man you want to be friends with? <laughs> that looks like the kid at school with no friends. Like, you know how there's, like, a giraffe at the zoo that was raised in isolation so it doesn't know how to be a giraffe? That's him. Okay. Okay, but there's an easier way to make friends than to pay them a million dollars. Yeah, and he's tried them all. <laughs> he, he bought Twitter to make friends, and what happened? We all left Twitter. He built self-driving cars so the cars would be his friend, and what happened? The cars blew themselves up. <laughs> he, he tried to make friends by having a thousand kids, and what happened? They were all like, can Nick Cannon adopt us instead? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm not done. This oh. man is a 
loser, Costa. Yeah. His, his group Woo. chat is... Yo, his group chat is him and a burner phone he bought so he wouldn't be alone in the group chat, okay? The, <laughs> the only reason he wants to go to Mars is so that he can be the first human to meet aliens because once he, he knows that once the aliens meet other humans, they'll be like, oh, wait, this one f sucks. <laughs> Ronnie, this man is 53 years old. He's got to have at least one friend. No, 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 no. And you know how I know he has no friends? Because he made a cyber truck, okay? A real friend would have told him, hey, bro, that's the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. You should punch yourself in the dick, okay? Because friends don't let friends make cars that look like a Batmobile that had to repeat the first grade. Okay, so. So, so what, our democracy is going to collapse unless this guy gets a friend? Exactly. <laughs> we just need one sad, pathetic, pasty loser to be his friend, which is why I'm awarding you, Michael Costa, one million dollars. All you need to do is be Elon Musk's friend. That's it. That's all you have to do. Congratulations, Michael. You won. So wait, proud of you. Wait, wait. Is that check made out to you from me? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't overthink it, man. Just sign here, okay? Yeah, I mean, Ronnie Chang, everybody.